Yo, what's going on everybody? We've got episode 32. Never mind, 33. I'm confused because all my rendering has been like really slow. So like the game quality is good, but my voice is like way ahead of the gameplay. And it would have just been stupid for me to have uploaded it. So I'm going to keep you guys in the loop. <clears throat> I believe the last one we uploaded was Michigan. Then I started having problems. So beat UMass, Eastern Michigan, Northern Illinois. Okay. Now, um, Ohio State and Auburn, they're starting their winning ways. So number two, number four, respectively. Michigan's number eight. So three of our victories are over top ten teams. And we are now sit at number one in the nation. We're taking on a top 25 opponent in North Carolina. Then we've got Ohio and Central Michigan, Akron, Western Michigan. So we've got a couple more games in the season left. But got to get by each of these teams. So North Carolina, they look like a pretty good, solid team. Now, as far as our injury update on Jermaine Jones is concerned, three more weeks. So... Apparently, we're going to get him back at the very last game of the season. But I'm thinking about if Williams just keeps taking this team to their winning ways. Thinking about just keeping them there and uh, including the bowl season. And just kind of keeping Jermaine Jones fresh for next season. Hopefully, <clears throat> we persuade him to come back for his uh, senior year. So recruiting, I also added some more. I mean, if the videos would have uploaded, y'all would have seen it. But we are now in the lead for Andrew Thompson, number one center in the nation. Wouldn't it be amazing that two of the centers that we got were former number one centers in the nation? Then we've got Chris Gibson, tight end, number five, but we're maxed out, so is everybody else. Greg Peterson, number one quarterback in the nation, we're behind Ohio State. Uh, Jason Davis, we're 25 points behind. Donald Purcell, we're second to Bama. Dominique McNair, uh, we're first. J.J. Johnson, he's the guy that we added. Uh, Juco, another Juco guy. I wish we could just get wide receivers outright. Defensive end Anthony Suggs, I like his size. We can develop him. Jason Hines, uh, I think he's got good upside. He's got 84 speed, so, I mean, I, I like guys that have that speed. Jamie Winston, we added him, 6'2 tackle. Deshaun Richardson, he's a guard, but he's 6'6". Micah Johnson, 6'6", 330. And then Lawrence Bryant, basically somebody that is just tall. That will probably be like a 70 overall by the time his career ends. But regardless, we've got Kyle Harvey, a commit, and Jermaine Smith, fullback. So we have a couple guys committing. We're looking to shore up depth, and hopefully we can land some of these big dudes before the season ends. So that's pretty much what's going on. Sorry about the inconvenience, guys. I mean, I would have had like five videos uploaded in the past couple days because I'm off work Sundays and Mondays. So let's get it going. Let go. So first tackle, it's a loss. See what we can do with Brooks. No, had the sack. And he's taken down at the twenty. So the quarterback scrambled. There we go, incomplete. Pump me that ball. You know you want to. Alright. We're going to audible out of this, go into a run with our boys. Everybody knows that the first 15 plays are the most important. So we handed it off to Walker for one. Now let's give it off to Isaac Harwell. There we go. The five star freshman. And now we're dropping back. Okay, into an empty set. Got one single high safety. There we go. I can't believe Tim Jackson held on to it. 
Good job, Jackson. Understand how Brody Walker doesn't have a star. I mean, he's clearly one of our better guys. I mean, he ran for over 120 yards last game, just no touchdowns. That's one thing I do love about Jordan being in the slot. He's quick. He's able to get away. There we go. Give me that first. Good job, Skyler Jordan. And now we got man coverage. We just got to get a, a wide receiver that just blows people away. There we go, Brody. That's the check down, but it works. All right, so Thomas Williams coming out. He's making his statement, leading the team. Not today. Take that slide. There we go. No more injuries. I'm just really glad that I've been able to get Harwell involved as much as I have. There we go. The freshman bangs forward and gives us seven. That's what I like. Give our opportunity give our defense the opportunity to sleep. You know, just get some rest there. There we go. That was easy. I didn't expect him to be open. There we go. 204 career receptions. Good job, Davis. Set now. User Rice. There we go. Who got him? Who got him? Brooks. Matt Brooks, man. Now he is having himself a season. This D end is quick. Nice. Passing games come on today, which I thoroughly enjoy. There we go. Hit Skyler Jordan again for 21. This dude is quick. I love it. I love it. Good route. Good catch. Just thread the needle. All right, let's see what Mr. Brody Walker can do. Oh, no! How did you not block him, fatty? What happened here? How did he break off that block? You just bumped into him. Well, that kind of run is what we need. So now we're going to send uh, Brody to the sidelines and bring in Harwell. Love Isaac's Har Isaac Harwell. He just keeps falling forward. You got to really like bringing in my tall guy, Jackson. There we go, Jordan. Give me that first. Haven't dropped a pass yet. Knock on wood. There we go, Harwell. Fall forward for five. He's bust. All right, so we got three down linemen. No, that's not the way you block. How do you let him... Take the points. There we go. Uh, Vandy's beating old Miss. What? Let's see what we got going here. Dang, Harwell. Give me 11. Okay. So, I mean, I got, between the two, I think 176 yards rushing. I don't think I can ask more than that. Well, now we're going to light a fire skill activated. Let's get our boys up there. 452 yards on the day. 
I think so. And there we go. Give it to Brett. How is that not a personal foul? Get him! And he's taken down at the 19 for Cincinnati. See him check out the game. Bam! Mm. Mm. And is having success getting to him. We have done so much. Let's see what our defense do. Five hurries, five sacks, man. Gee whiz. See, let's back off here a little bit. I knocked him down. He goes out of bounds around the 28 yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. No, don't install iTunes while I'm trying to record a video. Gets it out quickly. Knocked out of bounds right around the 34. There we go. Six seconds left. Ask coach. <gasps> Throwing two picks in the day, man. That's it. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. And that's game. I'll take thirty eight to thirteen. Yes, sir, I will take thirty eight to thirteen. So, and of course, they're going to give Williams player of the game. I mean, 266 yards isn't a bad game at all. He carried some. Man, we've gotten through this part of our schedule fairly well, so I'm, I'm proud of my team for doing that. Yes. Good job, boys. All right, let's take a look at some stats. Okay, come on now. Nope, that's not where I want to be. Game stats is where I want to be. Player stats. Okay, 1925, 251, three touchdowns, one pick. He was only sacked one time. 109 yards rushing out of Walker, and he got a touchdown, 78 out of Harwell. I mean, if our guy can average like anywhere from 60 to 70 yards a game, I think he's going to have close to a grand. 93 yards by Skyler Jordan in the touchdown, 37 by Scott, 44 by Jackson, so not bad. Bridges had 25 yards. Right, Davis had 28 in a touchdown. Walker, 10. Fuller, 15. Harwell and Lemon, meh. Let's go to defensive guys. Sullivan led. And he got a pick. Sacks, 3 by Matt Brooks. I cannot believe that. 1 by Rice and 1 by Bruce Edwards. I mean, that's just, to me, that's just amazing. So all the senior guys are getting sacks. Now, uh, we dropped UNC 38-13. to Clutch win. Now we just got to finish the season. I want to say thank you guys for your loyalty. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.